Okay, let's try a brushed metal effect on our shape. So I've deleted two of my layers, and I'm starting with my sh red shape here. And uh, what I'm going to do is apple click it again, create a selection. I'm going to create a new layer. And on this new layer, I'm going to hit Option Delete or Alt Delete on a PC. And what that does is it fills with the foreground color. The next thing I'm going to do is go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and let's add lots of noise by dragging the amount over. And we can also choose monochromatic. We only need black and white. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to deselect by hitting Apple D or Control D so I can get rid of my selection. And I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. And you can start to see what's happening. The sh uh, we begin to get these um, stripes across the shape, which is what we want. I'll click OK. Now, I'm probably going to want to change my red, since I don't want red brush metal, to a more neutral gray. And I'll just find something that sort of works in here. Maybe something a little darker than my foreground. Um, the last thing I'll do is I'll hold Apple, and I'll click on my Shape 1. I'll go up to my Layer 2. I'll hit Select Inverse, and Delete, and Deselect. And now you can see I have a shape that looks like it's built from brushed metal or has a brushed metal surface. Again, playing with the opacity and trying other layer effects is going to increase this look of a uh, brushed metal object.